Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Made it to the weekend. And as we move into this weekend, we got some more preseason stuff to watch. For some people out there, I don't know how many guys out there watch preseason games from other teams. Denver's playing tonight, though. I know some people are going to get a kick out of that, and they're playing a division rival. Maybe check in on that just a little bit. But um, I think we're all feeling pretty good about where the team is right now after that first preseason game was a relative success, I would say, all around. I think that most people feel relatively solid about where the team is. But uh, I want to talk about one particular thing that a lot of people are talking about right now. I, it was in my stream that I did right after the game ended. I see it in comments. I see it on Twitter. I see it all over the place. I'm talking about this center position battle because it kind of heated up in that Vikings game. And when I say heat up, what I mean is that Oluwatimi looked at least a little bit better than Evan Brown. So Oluwatimi made an argument for, at the very least, getting the opportunity to play against better players. Because obviously when Oluwatimi's in the game, he's going up against the third and fourth string of the Vikings. And Evan Brown was going up against, I mean, I, I'm not going to say he was going up against the first string, but he was going up against better players than Oluwatimi was for sure. Now, PFF released their grades from the game a couple days ago. Um, I think most of their grades were garbage. I had a look at some of the ones they put out. Uh, they don't make any sense to me at all. They gave Stone Forsyth and Phil Haynes really good blocking grades, which, I mean, I watched that game. I don't, I don't understand where that came from. So I'm not really going to sit here and act like I'm taking PFF all that seriously at the moment because, quite frankly, some of the grades they handed out for that game were just nonsensical to me. I think they gave Boye Mafe a below-average grade, but then they were given guys like Levi Bell, who did play really well last night or two nights ago, don't get me wrong, but how is Boye Mafe not graded at least as well as those guys given what he was doing against much better players? So, me and PFF are kind of not cool right now, but I do want to go ahead and show what they saw on the center battle with Oluwatimi getting a slightly, just slightly better grade than Evan Brown did. Evan Brown was slightly better as a run blocker, but Oluwatimi was slightly better as a pass blocker. It was very close overall, but they did give Oluwatimi the slight edge. And personally, watching that game two nights ago, I think Oluwatimi did a little bit better than that, but this is about right range. So with what happened in the game two days ago, the, the kind of the crux of this whole thing is people are wondering with the way Oluwatimi played, playing presumably better than Evan Brown, that seems to be what most people think. And I think that's fair. Again, lesser competition, but he did play better, a little bit better. And with the way that Phil Haynes looked, which in my estimation was not good, regardless of what PFF may say, is it possible that the right move here for the Seahawks is to start Oluwatimi at center and then bump Evan Brown over to right guard and then Phil Haynes is on the bench? Is that the right thing to do for this team given the arrangement of talent they have on this offensive line? Now... Oluwatimi is pretty simple. Talking about Oluwatimi, he's played center, I'm pretty sure, virtually every snap of his college career. He's a center. I, I don't think you're doing anybody any favors if you try to play him at guard. I don't think that's going to work. I don't think that makes sense. So if Oluwatimi is going to play, pretty much has to be at center. I don't think there's any contesting that. The decision <clears throat> comes with Evan Brown because Evan Brown has played both positions. He has played center and he has played right guard in the NFL. And you could slot Evan Brown over to right guard, and it wouldn't be something he's never done before. That's kind of the important part here, because there are definitely players out there who you throw in at a position they've never done before, and you just cross your fingers, and you hope it works out. Not necessarily the case with Evan Brown. However, I really want to uh, highlight something, because... There is something to be said for trying to put your players in the best possible position to succeed. And while Evan Brown was competent at right guard last year, he's clearly better at center. And you brought him in here to be the center. That's what the team has been saying the whole time. So if you do that, it is, to a certain extent anyway, going to 
make some people think about what we were doing to guys like Ethan Posick and Trey Flowers, playing them out of position, making them look worse than they are, not allowing them to operate from the strongest level of comfort possible. If you go to PFF, and I know I just kind of dumped on PFF, but the eye test is also kind of matching up with what PFF showed when it came to this. Evan Brown, last season for the Detroit Lions, played almost every snap at right guard, and he graded out passably. Good run blocker, really bad pass blocker. Sound a little bit maybe the opposite of what we got last year out of Austin Blythe, right? And overall grade was decent. Now, he wasn't exactly an all-pro when he got to line up at center, but he was better and more well-rounded. If you go back to the previous year, 2021, he played every snap at center this year. 755 snaps. He was graded a little bit better, almost 67. Much better pass blocker. Still a passable run blocker as well. Not great. Nothing over the top. Nothing crazy here, but better. This is his best position. We have every reason to believe that right now. He got pushed out of that position because the Lions got a Ragnow back, but I think this paints a pretty clear picture. And it's not just the PFF grading either. You can actually look at the 2022 stats. He had more penalties at right guard than he did at center, and he also allowed more sacks at right guard than he did at center. Despite the fact that nominally, in a vacuum, right guard should be the easier position to play. Centers have to handle line calls, centers have to handle snapping the ball, and it's overall just considered a more crucial position that in theory should be more difficult to handle, and yet Evan Brown still seemed to overall do better at center. So my only logical conclusion that I can make is that he's better at center. The only argument to be made to the contrary was the Lions offense was elite last year and it wasn't quite it wasn't that good the previous year so you could maybe make an argument that he was a part of something really good last season on offense but I don't think that's enough to outweigh the fact that every metric that we see says that he was better then again this is not just PFF this is watching him play this is watching the snaps watching the tape watching the film he looks better as a center and again we brought him in we said he's going to be our center we brought him in before we even knew we were going to have Oluwatimi, and the plan was to have Haynes at right guard and Brown at center. But you can change your mind if you have to. You can definitely look at the way things are trending. You can definitely look at the way things are going and say, hey, this isn't what we planned, but we're going to have to call a little bit of an audible here. So this one's tough. This one is tough. I do believe that Phil Haynes is going to be a weakness on this offensive line. And I do think you can cover up weaknesses as long as everyone else is playing well. And that is what I expect this year. If Evan Brown's starting at center, I expect the other four offensive linemen to play well, which will allow Phil Haynes to get away with being a not very good player. But if you get Oluwatimi out there instead and bump Evan Brown over, maybe you wouldn't even have that problem. Maybe Oluwatimi's ready to start now. It's possible, right? We're probably going to need to look at Oluwatimi against better competition, so hopefully sometime over the next two preseason games, Oluwatimi gets to go to work against, at the very least, second stringers, NFL caliber players, so we can get an idea of what he has against real NFL talent. Let me know what you guys think down below. That's my current thoughts on the situation. See you guys later. Go Hawks.